BB. Robert William Patrick Bragg. Bob Bragg, longtime sports editor of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, was a prolific writer. He was an iconic figure in the St. Louis sports scene for over six decades. He was born and raised and lived as a proud St. Louisan. He was comfortable around presidents of the United States and rubbing elbows with the superstars of sports. He was a character in life and a character in print. He was an ex-Marine who could drink and cuss with the best of them. But above all, Bob Bragg was a writer, a prolific one. No one knows how many typewriters he wore out banging out thousands of columns and scores of books. He was a storyteller, like how the Cardinals got their Cardinal name. The Robinsons coming in here were so annoyed with the failure of the ball club that they took all that brown uniform stuff up and put red on. And a woman fan watching the game one day, overheard by a reporter named Willie McHale of the St. Louis Republic, which is long gone, he heard her say, what a lovely shade of cardinal. Now see, she meant color. And it stayed color in people's minds. He, he picked it up and so they started calling the cardinals, or easy for headlines, cards. One of his favorite stories was how he was responsible for Stan Musial's nickname, The Man. The Brooklyn fans, to Leo Ward, to Bob Brake, to the St. Louis public. And, and the way it happened is this, 1946, the year the Cardinals beat the Dodgers in the playoff, Musial began to assert his remarkable hitting authority in Ebbets Field. He just tattooed that ball part from one end to the other. So one day, one day I could hear a murmur in the stands as he came up and again and again. So at dinner that night, I said to Leo Ward, the Cardinal secretary, I said, what was that? He said, the fans were saying, here comes that man. I said, here, here comes the man. I said, that man? No, no, he said, here comes the man. So that night, uh, I was kind of amused. I went to write, and I wrote this about the man, and then called him Stan the Man. But it was actually, he was christened by the awe-inspired fans of Brooklyn, and all we had to do was relay it along, and I'm sure glad Ward was there to, to hear exactly what was said. He bled the black and gold of the University of Missouri. Bragg was one of the first writers to venture into the broadcast world. For years, he did vignettes on KMOX Radio, sponsored by his automobile dealer brother, Fred Bragg. And he was comfortable with a microphone in his hand in front of the TV cameras. He was on the board of directors of the Baseball Hall of Fame for 28 years. His knowledge was encyclopedic. His honors were numerous, including the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame, the J.G. Taylor Spink Award at the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, Sports Writers and Sportscasters Hall of Fame, National Baseball Congress Hall of Fame, Bob said he wanted his epitaph to read, hopefully he was fair, as in just, not as in mediocre. We welcome to the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame, the late Bob Brake.